Hello Collective, I am doing a collective reading today. So this isn't sign specific, so if you are watching this video, the messages are for you. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, The Ten of Swords. The Tower. Center of your reading collective. The Queen of Swords. Then you have the Seven of Swords. Then you have the Ten of Wands. Tens could be significant at the moment. Completing cycles. And then you have the Two of Cups. And the Six of Wands. On the back of the deck, you've got the Eight of Cups and the Sun. Okay, collective, let's grab out some clarifiers and we will get into this reading. What is the Seven of Pentacles here? You have the Eight of Pentacles. So you could be, you could have been in the recent past collective working on something, um, something like a home, stability, um, but whatever this is that you're working on, to me, in that bowl, he has nothing. It's like, was this worth it? Whatever I'm doing, is this worth it? Should I keep going? But then you've got the Six of Swords, so there's something about um, deciding to leave a situation, okay? Moving into calm water. Leaving something that could be emotional, something that you could have given a lot of time to in the past, but this is going to lead you into a new life, a new beginning. What's the Three of Swords? You have the Six of Cups. So as you move on, there could have been some type of heartbreak, a third party that was put in here. Um, you've got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles coming out for the Three of Swords with the Six of Cups. So there could have been a soulmate that was in your life, okay? This person could have been giving to two different people here. You've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So you could be either working with this person. You could be um, trying to bring in stability with this person. Whatever this is, I feel like you could have been giving s stability to this energy. And they could have been giving... Um, you know, a passionate beginning to somebody else also, but there could have been some type of truth you've seen. What is the Ten of Swords? You have the Six of Wands. So this person could be someone that could have betrayed you. You see that they were giving to somebody else. This could be someone that is like popular. You've got the Hierophant coming out. Taurus energy could also be significant. There's something about giving to others, okay? You could have given a lot to this person. But then they just stabbed you in the back. They betrayed you. You look at this as a lesson learned, though, okay? You're leaving that situation. You're coming out as the Six of Swords and moving forwards, learning from the lesson, okay? Learning from this commitment. Knowing this is over. What is the Tower? You have the Empress. So the Tower, Aries energy, the Empress, Taurus and the fool. So this happened for a reason. This got knocked down for you to start something new, okay? You could have knocked this down. There's something 
new and emotional that's about to start, okay? It's like a birth here. I feel like you're flying the coop. You've got the Empress coming out, Taurus energy. So there's a birth of an idea. There's a rebirth of yourself too once this tower gets knocked down. And this person could have done it to themselves, really. They, they to me, it looks like they were giving to another energy here. What is this Queen of Swords? You have the King of Swords. And death so an ending with this person okay i feel like you made the decision to cut this person out now you're waiting for something new okay and as i said there's some type of rebirth in your energy rebirth and movement forwards you're the queen of swords you're independent you've got these firm boundaries up you sit in that throne um, waiting for the new, S holding those boundaries up also. What is the Seven of Swords here for Collective? You have the Nine of Cups. And the Three of Cups. What is the Three of Cups? eight of cups so as i said you left that situation okay you could have just up and left because there was like a third party involved this person's leaving the third party and they want to reconcile or something about reconciliation with family Okay, so now you've cut that person out of your life. This person's cutting out that third party and wanting to come back. They look at you as a wish fulfillment collective. What's the Ten of Wands? You have the Ten of Swords. And the Eight of Swords. So as you push on, as you move forwards, you still hold on to these thoughts about the past, about the betrayal, okay? You could be exhausted because you're doing this all by yourself. You could be doing things all by yourself. But there's something about pushing on as much as these challenges have come into your life collective, um, you need to keep pushing on to that next town because there is something coming in towards you when you reach the town. What is the Two of Cups? The Two of Swords? The Ten of Wands. <coughs> you, I feel, collective, are looking for a new union. I feel like you're closed off to that past. You don't even want to look back at it. Um, you don't even want to feel those emotions, I feel, anymore. And I feel like you're very focused on stability. You're focused on yourself. You're giving to yourself. There's something about waiting for a union, but you are leaving the past, okay? You're waiting for something else. You're waiting for something new. What's the Six of Wands for Collective? You have the Eight of Wands. The Nine of Pentacles. What's the Nine of Pentacles? The Five of Wands and the Page of Wands. Mm, 
that Knight of Cups. Here they come, Collective, at the end of the reading. You've got that Six of Wands coming out. Someone, I think we did see it up here somewhere, yes. I feel it's like someone that likes the attention, someone that's trying to walk in, make some type of big entrance, someone like I'm here, someone that's trying to be like the alpha male for some reason is coming out. Could be a younger energy. Something about a message, words being said. They're coming towards the Nine of Pentacles, okay? And I feel like that's you. You're focused on stability. You're focused on home. There's something about this person wanting to bring in some type of success. What is the Eight of Wands? What are these messages for Collective? What are the messages? You have Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Healing, and the Sun, Healing. Healing, Happiness, Children, Success. This person looks at you like the soulmate, their soulmate, okay? You've got the Sun coming out, Leo Energy, Temperance. This person wants to heal this connection. They're going to come back in again. So whether you choose this connection or not, when they do come in, to me, you're waiting for something new. I don't feel like you have, you may not have somebody in your life at the moment. You're looking for, you know, that new candidate or something, you know, that new person that you're ready to give your all to, you know, give all your love to. But the past is going to reappear they want to reappear. What is this Eight of Cups? What's the Eight of Cups for Collective? The Six of Swords. So there's you leaving that situation. As much as you didn't want to leave it, you gave a lot to it. It's something that's going to hurt moving away, but moving away from it is the best thing for you. Okay? It's going to bring in a lot of happiness. And then you've got the High Priestess also. So you're following your gut. As much as it's hard to leave a situation, you are going to do it, okay? You're going to do it. And I feel like you could be doing this behind closed doors with the High Priestess coming out. You're moving forwards. And it's going to bring in a lot of happiness, family, connection. What is the sun? What is the sun for collective? The six of wands, so success. The sun is the yes card, happiness, divine connections. You have the hanging one, which is Pisces energy. And the Queen of Pentacles. Someone's coming towards you, collective. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. They want to give, okay? They want to give to you. I feel like this person has had the epiphany, okay? They've seen the light. They look at you like you are the success. You know, they want that success with you. They could even want marriage with you. This person could not, may not be around you at the moment. There's something about them being stuck somewhere, but they're leaving that situation and they, I feel like they're coming in with some type of truth, okay? Okay. They see you as someone also that's very, very attractive. Um, someone that fights for family, fights for love. And I feel like this person's been holding that love back, okay? But they're going to come in. And I feel like this, this could be the past. 
I feel like this could be the past for you, Collective. Collective, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Just remember, all my readings are timeless, so if you ever want to check out my channel, there is a playlist for the Collective. I'm also doing personal readings, so if you'd like a personal reading from me, check out the link in the description below. But I love you all so much, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye.